It, it looks like an Oreo, like a really crappy tasting Oreo. You know, growing up, uh, we would get those packages of like rolls and they would have like a cherry or like cheesecake in the center and then it was surrounded by the pastry. See, I've got five older sisters, so I never even knew there was the middles in there. We, we could get these after church. That was a thing. They would buy these and they could have one after church. But by the time they came down to me, it was just like the pastries on the outside. Then one day I found out there was actually a middle filling to them. And I was all ticked off. I was like, I never get these. My sisters are all taking them. So one Saturday afternoon, I decided I was going to take destiny into my own hands. So they were always kept in the upper oven. You know, farm kitchens always had the lower oven and the upper oven. These were kept up there. So I snuck into the kitchen and I opened it and I opened the package. The cellophane is the loudest thing on the face of the earth. And I took the finger and I it was cheesecake and I did the whole thing and I put it in my mouth and I turned around and my sister was standing there. <laughs> you think maybe she would cover for me? I mean, what'd she do? Mom! Ramsey the Miller, the best she thought he's seen it with his finger outside of it inside after church. That's what she did. She sold me out just like that. And of course, from the other room, my mom's like, it's not even Sunday. Why are you eating them when they're not even Sunday? I'm gonna, I know, I'm, I'm getting in so much trouble. I get that. But at the same time, you got to understand what's going on in my mouth. For the first time, I'm tasting the center of these pastries. And it's like, I'm afraid, but I'm also mad because all these years I've missed out on it. It's not fair. So it was, it was an unusual day. It was a day that uh, I remember well. I did get in trouble. I didn't get any, any rolls for the next few Sundays. Worth, worth every minute of it. When you make a round bale, you start in the middle and then you just keep rolling around it. It's kind of like when you roll a snowball down the hill, it just gets bigger and bigger. Now, some farmers, they take that bale and they just set it out there and then the cows or horses or whatever will just eat it. Some farmers, they put it in a grinder and they chop it up. Some farmers unroll it. Then some farmers, some farmers, well, they have their cows unroll that bale for them. <laughs> they unroll it or unravel it. Or like Mr. Bolland says, they unriggled it. I don't know. Either way, it works. This week's machinery pick of the week is presented by John Deere. You notice he's not laughing. Oh, oh, no, 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 no. Look, look at the absolute look of terror on his face. <laughs> uh, don't worry, don't worry. I, I'm not gonna do that stereotypical woman's driver joke thing. I, that wouldn't be fair, right? I mean, plus my wife sitting right over there. Yeah, it's a big fat no for me. Farmer Dan has a wasp issue. Hey, wasps, they're worthless. Little stinking, stinging jerks. Actually, wasps are very beneficial to the environment. Shut up, troll. Nobody cares. <laughs> if you like the wasps so much, why don't you go marry one? Both could live happily ever after in your mom's basement. <laughs> bees, now at least bees, they give us honey, right? And they're entertaining cartoon characters. And that one with Seinfeld doing the voice, that was pretty cool. So what would you do here? Yeah, it's a big fat no for me. That'll do, Dan. That'll do. Don't stop. Don't stop. Don't stop! <laughs> In a matter of seconds, you have to decide whether to try to steer out of this or keep the wheel straight so you keep your forward momentum. We've all been there. Now, for our non-farming friends, this is a perfect teaching moment. You may ask yourself, how does this happen? Well, let's break it down. Looks like things were going fine until the cart driver showed up. Hence and therefore, it is here, as is always, the cart driver's fault. <laughs> so what do we have here? Deer school on a deer tractor? <laughs> That's just it's ironic or something, I don't know. <sighs> What's that? Hey, is that a cat? Oh, Mother Hubbard, it's an armadillo. 
Oh, this creepy, dense little rodents. I'll just stop chasing it. Stop. They carry leprosy. I, I'm not even kidding about to Google it. If you don't believe me, oh, yeah, they do. Y'all worried about bats. <laughs> Let me tell you what, these devious little tactical possums, they sneak right up on you. Mark my words, armadillos will be the downfall of humanity. This is funny mainly because it, it didn't happen on my farm. <laughs> it would be so easy to do. I mean, when you're in that cab, you're pretty much in your own little world. I love, I love them running after it. But I mean, come on, if he doesn't see the back open, he's, he's not gonna see all that waving. <laughs> he's up there. Corn's not gonna harvest itself. <laughs> Pitter patter, let's get at her. He's probably already yelling, where's the cart? <laughs> it's time for That's Nuts with Ubri. <laughs> Ubri Martin is a West Texas farmer who is putting out some of the best agriculture footage online. His unique camera views and drone footage, well, it's just simply amazing. This time Uber, he's got his camera on, looks like the, the feeder house of the nut combine. I don't know what a nut combine is called. That's why I love this stuff because I've never seen it before. Obviously you, you swab the peanuts. I don't know how they do that. This is, this is what's so neat. This is why a farmer will watch another farmer work because we're fascinated by this. I've never seen this. I want to do this now because he's put a camera on the head of his nut combine. It's n nuts. High five. <laughs> Remember Borat is a high five. King of his castle, king of his castle. This is, this is actually not good. I mean, I'm making fun, but this is pretty serious. If this ever happens, don't get out of the cab. I mean, if you have to, if like the tractor's on fire or something, just make sure you jump as far away from the tractor as you can. Because the worst thing you could do is like have your hand on the tractor and your foot on the ground. That's, that's very dangerous. So I'm glad nobody was hurt so we can make fun of this. Very nice. Are you ready for some <laughs> spray or boom origami? <laughs> I, just, I don't even know what happened here. It's like the Fantastic Four bought a sprayer or something. It, I don't think that's buffing out. It's cool. It's cool that you can put your boom into a figure four, but I don't, I don't think that's how the, the engineers originally envisioned it. I, I don't have tracks on my tractors. It's not because I don't want them. It's just I don't have them. I've got tracks on an auger cart. It's pretty cool. But that's always a thing. It was always like, oh, if you get tracks, you'll never have a flat tire. Ha <laughs> ha. Well, eh, I don't know. Kind of. I don't know what you call this. It's not flat because it started out flat, but this is not good. What's worse, having a flat tire or, or having this? It's something we're going to have to think about. <laughs> Four out of 10 ain't bad, right? That's 40%. It's mainly what I got in school. And I got a diploma at the end. Could have been worse. Nothing worse than a bent auger. I've heard it happens more often after you're 40. I don't know what that means. This is from friend of the show, Trent Hall, who, who bent his auger. Kane Lewis is a 19-year-old paraplegic from West Portsmouth, Ohio. He's a farmer and also a college student. He suffers paralysis from a hunting accident. This chair is the most all-terrain wheelchair and it allows him access to fields to check conditions and crops. Now the stand feature, that allows him to reach shelves, reach parts of the equipment that couldn't be reached from a traditional wheelchair. The lift is hydraulically driven and a safe way to get him in equipment. He gets him right up there where the other lifts don't necessarily do so well. 